I will show you three tips to speed up your time on creating UML class diagrams with ASTA. There are only three tips you need to know. One, just double click to create classes. And two, add models just by one click. And the last one is to use shortcut key. And I'm going to draw a class diagram using these tips for this bowling scoring system. Let's get started. First, create a class diagram. You can create classes by choosing a class element on the tool palette and then click on the diagram. But faster way to create classes is just to double click on the diagram. In this way, you don't have to go back and forth between the tool palette and diagram and keep creating classes. And there is a way to create multiple classes all at once. And I'll show you how to do it at the end of this video. Now association. Again, you can choose an association type from tool palette, but faster way is to use a mini icon on the diagram. So bring your mouse over a model and click this icon. Then all the association type appears. Select the composition and then click on a target model. And that's done. Let's add a multiplicity. Mouse over the association line and then click M. You can choose from the candidates. This time we want 10, but it's not on the list, so just pick one and then directly type 10. That's it. Now add generalizations from the bottom two classes to a frame class. Mouse over a class, select the generalization, and click target class. Same with another class, but this time, instead of clicking a target class, drop it on the arrow of another generalization. So it merges and you can represent these two lines in a shared line. Now create other two classes by double clicking on a diagram and add associations using these mini icons. Next, add attributes and operations to classes. To create an operation, you can click on this green icon, but another way to create it is using the shortcut key. Ctrl and M, Command and M if you're on Mac. You can keep creating more operations with shortcut key or you can just hit the enter key to create another. And this time we don't need the operations return type information on the diagram, so let's hide them. Go to initial visibility tab of this class diagram's property, check off this option, and click apply to existing elements button, and they go off. Now I will add the third operation with command and M shortcut key and directly type its parameter in. Next, add attributes. You can click on this orange button or use shortcut keys, Ctrl and an R, or Command and R if you're on Mac. And you can set a frequently used attribute type by default in advance in the system properties. Now add the rest of attributes and operations using shortcut key. This keybind and enter key to create another really helps our hands stay on the keyboard so it's quicker to type model name instantly. Now create a note, select it on the tool palette and click on a diagram. To connect it to the model, use this mini icon, click it and then target model. Alright, now let's add colors. Select models and go to the set color menu. Choose the color in the palette you like and that's done. Okay, so at last I'll show you how to create more than one class at once. So let's say you have a list of candidates of class models in such as a spreadsheet and copy them and paste on a class diagram. A dialog appears to ask what model types you want to convert them into. Default is class, so classes will be made with all the names if you click OK. This is extremely helpful if you already have a list of candidates of model names to start diagramming with. So this is it for today. Give it a try with these three tips and see how it changes over the time you spend on creating class diagrams. Thank you for watching.